Well, it's early Sunday morning for me. Um, it's probably about 10 o'clock, but uh, got to work yesterday. Welcome to the Nathan Landon YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be getting in the beehives, doing some spring cleaning, uh, rotating the uh, supers, not the honey supers, but the, the brood boxes to get the queen to move around and lay in the other one. And then next week I'll be putting in the double screen dividing boards to attempt to split my Langstroth hives into from two to four. Um, got a treat this year. I purchased the Hogs Half Comb Honey Super. These are plastic boxes that have wax already in the bottom for the bees to draw out and then fill with honey. And I'll be selling those individual boxes with uh, the honey and the comb in them. Need to get the, the exterior of it painted before I put it on the hive, but that'll be going on um, here in probably about a month. So the rest of this video, I'll be getting into the bee boxes. Let you see the they didn't use all the sugar but uh they used the majority of it so that's good Gonna clean off all this burr comb. I'm gonna remove my sugar block. And put it over here. This is the strips I use for treating for mites. Just hang them in the hive. And they help kill some of the mites. A few D 
dead bees on top here from where I put the sugar on. One thing today I'll be looking for also is swarm cells. So we'll be looking at the bottom of the each box. That's where they develop queens for swarming. swarm cells at all um, really strong looking hive had a lot of bees survive the winter which that is awesome we'll be off to a good start for this spring try to keep these guys smoked up so they don't We don't get real mad, but I'm gonna move this box over to the stand I'm using. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. So far, so good. Now I'm gonna put this box when it goes back on, it'll be on top because it's a lot lighter. <laughs> sugar had fallen in.
these boxes back on before they completely myrtleize me. Entrance back in. There we go. That's uh, went in a little too far. There we go. Now I'll get the second box back on. Take the board from that screen. Looks like they're already getting back to normal a little bit. I don't think they're uh, too worse for the wear. They've already calmed down quite a bit. I'll wait till it gets dark and I'll come out and sweep up this leftover sugar that's fallen to the bottom of their hive and uh, let these girls get back to being normal. Now we're gonna tackle this bad boy. And we're gonna look in the top bar hive because uh, they survived the winter too, which is just awesome. All right, getting ready to start on the second hive. We'll give them a, they've been using this hole in the top as a entrance too. Looks like I'm gonna need to repair this top cover. Um, the needs nailed a little better. Give them a little smoke there, let them know. Over here. 
They've completely eaten all the sugar that I put in there for them, which I that's awesome because it helped them survive the winter. A little smoke calm them down. Um, yeah, so this hive must have a lot more bees because. All that sugar is gone. And this honey super that I left on here. Let's check it out. Let's see if there's any cap in it. Doesn't look like it. Drips out. Awesome, that cleaned that top right off. That's a bird comb off of here. Pull the frame out and see what we got going on. gap here um, creating some funky comb that looks like a queen cell that one maybe too there's some all right I'm 
about to pick this up. And... I gotta move my other one. Reposition this camera. Sciatic nerve pain. See the box is a killer. Get a little more smoke. This uh box has a lot fewer bees in it than the other one. Oh, we'll move it real quick. Clean off some of this burr home. And uh Gotta get the entrance off of the other box. There we go. Got the entrance on. Do a little cleaning up on the bottom. So that's looking pretty good. Inner cover. Nice and clean. And I've got to go repair, repair the lid and I'll be right back. Got the cover fixed, just put a couple nails in it. There we go. Then we'll be getting into the top bar.
you know, this beekeeping's all fun and games until a little puppy gets stung and then it's, he doesn't want to hang out with you anymore. <laughs> But the cutest dog in the world is out here. And here shortly, he'll probably get a bee land on him. And he'll take off running like somebody set his butt on fire. Get out of that. Now we're over at the top bar hive. I've had somebody come join me there on my veil. That's always a worry that you might have a, an ear nose which my mama gave me a big one um up against the veil and a bee like the one that just landed there can actually sting you through the veil because they have access and uh doesn't make it very much fun so i'm gonna try to remove my sugar block that i put in this hive and then add some more of these top bars because I'm sure these guys seem to be doing an excellent job. There we go. Oh, there's quite a bit of it left. Look at that. Wow. I am amazed. And look at this. Comb right up to the edge. Now I'm gonna move some of these other top bars over to give them more room to be able to build comb. And there's, there's the follower board, this one here. You put it in and then it limits their access to whatever's to the left of it so it's a pretty good size colony going there let's see if we can see the bees through my window on the back side doing excellent really what you want to see from this top bar is mainly just kind of an experiment messing around with it but it was that swarm that i caught last year that actually stayed and is making a go of it so that's pretty cool busy as a bee oh. well hope y'all have enjoyed getting in the hives with me i'm sure i'll be making lots more videos for this spring because playing with the bees is a lot of fun be sure to subscribe and like the video that helps me out too thanks